Hi, welcome to this channel. This is the Savvy and She Care Beauty Help channel. I am Dabs and um, I'm here with my text lax update. I've been text lax maybe two years now and um, I decided I'm going to start doing updates on, on this channel. I've been doing updates on the blog Ninja Hair Can Grow. Ninja Hair Can Grow. I'm wearing the t shirt right now. And I decided, okay, I should try and start doing updates. Anyway, so too. I relaxed, text laxed my hair yesterday. Text laxing is basically um, under processing your relaxer treatment. So instead of doing like um, 30 minutes to 45 minutes treatment, you just cut it down to like 15, 20 minutes. I actually text laxed for 22 minutes yesterday. I um, started at 9.08 p.m. and then I was done by about 9.30 or so. So it was about 22 minutes start to finish. When we say start to finish, I mean from the time you divide your hair, you, um, you know, protect your edges and you coat your ends and then you apply the relaxer to smoothing it out. 22 minutes. Um, I wish I did it for shorter, but um, first of all, I made a mistake of not detangling my hair first, which um, should be one of the first things you do so that it's really quick. So you just divide and apply, divide and apply. I didn't do that. So going through that thick new growth was not easy at all, but I was able to do it for 22 minutes. Once I was done smoothing out my, you know, my edges and everything, I went and washed the hair out. And these are the results. Um, if you look closer, I haven't used heat on this hair. I literally um, just moisturized and sealed like five seconds ago <laughs> and um, applied some glycerin to my ends because I'm really trying to keep them moist. Um, if you look closer, you would see you would see that um, there's some texture. I don't know if you can see so it. So I text lax. 14 weeks I was actually trying to push it to 16 weeks but trust me I was going through so much shedding like I was seeing so much hair coming off from my head that I thought instead of me to wait and let this end up being a setback I better you know quickly do something about it so I decided you know to cut that stretch short maybe next time um, the length of time in which you stretch depends on a lot of things. It depends on where you're, you're starting off, your, your ends, how strong they are. It depends on, on your weather. You know, sometimes it's, it's easier to stretch when the weather is, you know, not as dry because your hair won't be so dry. Um, it depends on quite a few things. And so you should let your hair, you know, tell you what what is going on with it. You should allow your hair be the one to tell you stretch time is over, you know? Instead of, you know, pushing your hair, I know someone that, I've said it on my blog, stretched her hair for, I think, five months or quite a long, a long time, maybe six months, I can't remember. By the time we were done detangling and relaxing her hair, her ends were so light, she had lost so much hair from from you know her roots so sometimes stretching is not the best but let's get back to my update so I'm just going to go and show you like you know um, my roots just a texture short of you know my hair you can see that it's not going straight and as I said I haven't applied any kind of heat to it so it's not bone straight it has a lot of texture to it and and it just is healthier that way I do need a trim I do need a, a trim but you know what I I have I have been at BSL because that's where I am now full BSL before in 2012 and I got scissors happy. 2013 came. I got scissors happy and like I cut maybe three inches off. 2013 came. 
I cut like four inches off my hair at two different intervals. And I haven't been able to get back to BSL because of all that Caesar's happiness. So this year, 2014, I have told myself that I have to control my urge to just go and just get a scissors and cut my hair off. Usually why I cut my hair is because of the shortness I experience at the back. At the back is quite short, shorter than the rest of my hair. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's shorter than, say, here. So it, it stops, you know, I'm not... It's, it's quite short. Okay, you can see it now. So at the back is quite short and usually I would go back and just cut all my hair to to where that that ends and I realized that what I'm doing is just not helping my hair because every time I cut my hair it will go back to that point. So basically now I am knowing that I have to just allow my hair grow. Every part of your hair doesn't have to grow at the same pace. So you should be able to, I'm telling myself this now. So I'm trying to, you know, let my hair just grow at its own pace. So I'm just gonna give you a back shot. As long as the hair doesn't look, you know, horrible and so out of place, I think it's, it's fine to be able to just ignore it and trim as needed. So I'm just gonna comb my back hair so I can give you a back shot. I might attach pictures to this. So this is the back shot of my hair. Um, as I said, I'm going to do a little trim. It's just going to be very little, just so that my ends are healthy-ish. So maybe I'll just trim like that much. And, and do the same here. And we trim like just like half half an inch something. And with that, I'm happy to say that I am full brass chaplain and pray and hope that by the end of the year I will be full um be MBL, yes, and from MBL, I pretty much want to stay there. I don't know. I don't know how much product I'll have to be using when I'm wasteland. So, <laughs> I've said it before. I think I'll just maintain MBL. There's a girl, I think her name is Helicious on Instagram. Her MBL is beautiful. So, I'm thinking of, you know, just maintaining an MBL. But we never know um, if my wasteland hair looks good enough. Why not, you know? So, so yeah, definitely that's what I'm doing now. So that's my my updates for my text likes, and um, I'll keep you updated next time I text likes. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more hair and beauty tips, and please spread the word. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone that um, there's a Nigerian girl hmm, that is blogging and talking on YouTube in her ninja way about hair. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.